At this point in this piping model, I have set up my loading and my analysis sets. I've ran an analysis and I'm ready to review results. And if I take a look at my combinations in here, we have many different analysis sets and load cases included. So it may be wanted to filter through your results and to set up some different filterings for different types of results. So let's go through a couple of the ways that you can filter results. First of all, right in the combination dialog on the code combination and non-code combinations tabs, there is a print column. If you don't want to see the results for any of your combinations, you can uncheck the print column. If you uncheck the print column, the analysis combination will still be available for future use, but it will not show at all when reviewing results, whether that be on screen, in your results grid, or in a report, whether it be text, Word, or Excel reporting. That result will not be included, but it still is loaded in here so that if you then want to review it at a different time, you always can just very easily and quickly check on the print option again. So maybe I don't have any desire to review the occasional load cases on their own for results. I can always uncheck them for printing here. And again, they will not show up in my results review in any situation at all until I check on print again. That's one way to filter results. Another way to filter results is by selecting the filters option from the result ribbon tab. Here you can filter results for code stresses, displacements, anchors, supports, forces, and moments. So as an example, if I want to filter my code stresses to only see stress ratios greater than 0.8, maybe those are gonna be my problematic areas when it comes to code stresses, I want to set that up and I can say, okay. What this does is it filters my results for my reports but the filter is not automatically applied. It's set up, but I have not actually applied it to my report until I go to the output report in the quick reports grouping, and I check on in here to apply filter criteria. Once this is checked on, it will apply the filter to any of the sub reports that I have a filter set for. I only set a code stress filter, so only the code compliance sub report would be filtered. When I click OK, it would create the text output report, but this filter would also be applied to any Word or Excel report I also create from the report manager. I would have to uncheck or check on to apply the filter in the quick report dialog, but again, this also applies to your report manager settings. So if I scroll down to the code compliance section of this report, you'll notice that I am starting at A10 at a bend. So we are jumping to points that have a ratio higher than 0.8 because of the filter I set. It is not going to completely go in order here. Uh, as I scroll down, it is not a very large section even though my piping model is very large. It's really just focusing on that A10, A11 area that has a stress ratio higher than 0.8. Everything else is not being reported again, because of the filter I set. This does not filter any other subsection. When a code stress filter set, it only filters the code compliance subsection. If I were to set a displacement filter, it would only filter the displacement subsection. So that's important to remember. Another way I can set a filter is by filtering my uh, report to selected points. So as an example, if I just select this section of piping, when I go back into the quick report for output report or input report, but we'll focus on output report, I will uncheck the apply filter criteria and this time I'll check on limit report to highlighted points. And when I click OK, and the report is created, as I scroll down, I will now see that all of my sections are including less points. It, it will only include the points that I have highlighted if I take a look back at my model, I see that the points included are R8, R9, R10, R16, R17, R11, and R12. So R8 through R12, but then there were two points added in R16 and R17. So no matter what section of the report I go to, I will only see those 
six or so points included. So displacements, if I scroll down to support forces, again, I will only see results for any supports that are on the highlighted section of piping, in this case, at point R16. So all of my sub reports will be filtered, whether it be the text report, word report, or Excel report when we're filtering to highlighted points. Remember that if you want to release the filter, you always have to go back into the quick report dialog and uncheck it in there. So now I have no filtering for highlighted points or using filter criteria. Another option to filter data is in the results grid. So if I come to the result ribbon tab and select result grid, the results grid has different tabs for different types of results data. So here's forces and moments, we saw displacements, and we'll look at coach stresses. And on the right side of any tab, there are options to filter the data. So with code stresses again, we see options to filter the data by combination. On the displacement tab, we see options to filter the data by combination again, but these are for the non-code combinations, whereas the code stresses tab was showing the code combinations. So by checking these on and off, you can filter the data being shown in the results grid down to whichever combinations you're interested in. Lastly, data can be filtered in the Excel reports. This is a different filtering idea, but there are filter options for different sections of the Excel reports. And this is gone over in detail in three Coffee Corner sessions focused on reporting that are located on the Bentley events page.